Well, welcome everybody to Nisa's Match of the Week, live on 11 Sports and on FIFA Plus around the world, wherever you may be. It's a rematch of last year's semifinal, the reigning champion Michigan Stars and the current table toppers, Chattanooga FC. Hope you're enjoying your weekend, everybody. Mason Lowry with you at Barnabo Field in Romeo, Michigan. TJ Buchholz is alongside me in the booth, former head women's soccer coach at the University of Toledo and a good friend of mine. This is maybe the biggest game of the first month of the season in Nisa and a really intriguing matchup between two very good but very different teams. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to be up here. This is the first broadcast that I have ever done, so <laughs> bear with me. But uh, two really great teams. It's been fun to kind of watch both of these over the last couple of weeks and see what, uh, what lies out here for tonight in this uh, great op opportunity to play. We've got a Chattanooga team that... It's taken nine points from three matches, a plus nine goal differential so far. You know what you're getting with Marcus Nagelstadt and company. This is a team that can really, really score. Michigan Stars, well, they rode their defense, didn't they, to the league championship last year. It's obviously a different squad this season. Haven't returned that many players from a season ago. Different center back pairing in particular. I think we're looking forward to seeing how Garrett Hogman and Artem Baranovsky continue to develop these opening months of the season. That's a thing that can take a bit of time. Absolutely, yeah. Pairing those two center backs together, it does take time, and it's obviously early in the season. So far, I thought they've done a great job. They really keep teams in front of them and really make it difficult to get behind them. When teams do get behind them, that's where that chemistry is so important between those center backs to really recover well and be able to deal with those threats. Well, one of those regular Chattanooga threats is not in the starting 11 tonight. That's Taylor Gray, who's so effective. Lightning pace on the left flank. He drops out. He is available off the bench. Colin Stripling, one of the center backs, will come off the bench tonight as well. It's three matches in a week mm. for Chattanooga. Nisa match not that long ago against Flower City Union that they won 1-0 and then a tough loss after extra time and penalties in the U.S. Open Cup against Birmingham Legion. It's great to see Jacob Campbell back available for Michigan Stars. The left back, he was so good, especially the final third of last year and in the playoffs. He had hernia surgery immediately after the season ended. Jeez. Makes his first appearance of the season tonight, and he makes this Michigan Stars team, I think, a lot more dynamic getting forward. It always helps when you have a left back that can charge up the flank and get crosses in. Well, you know me well, Mason. I love defenders that can attack, and the left <laughs> side especially. Oh, yes. So I think that's a key uh, for them to have success in the attack today. So it's a breezy Saturday night here at Barnabo Field in Romeo, Michigan. In fact, some of the Michigan Stars FC signs, the players walk <laughs> past coming out of the locker room, blew right over as soon as the teams came out to give you some idea. Michigan Stars will be playing with the wind in the first half, moving right to left. They're in all white. Chattanooga resplendent in navy blue, moving left to right in the first half. Off we go. Leon Marich scored after just 56 seconds. Last time out two weeks ago for the Stars against Gold Star FC Detroit. In fact, he had a brace inside the first 15 minutes. Gold Star got a goal from Junior Rosero. All the goals coming in the first half. Yakov Shmelev, the Stars ever present at right back from last year. He got himself sent off a second yellow card at around the hour mark. So Jacob Campbell replaces him. Tatenda Makruva in goal. Robert Yunchai Kutero Umeda, who missed the last match due to injury. He comes back in. Leon Marich, Jacob Campbell, Andres Shalbot is it right back. Noah Robinson on the left flank. The two center backs, Hogman Ooh. and Baranovsky, we mentioned. And Anthony Bowie. It's the kind of pressure that Leon Marich really likes to put on opposing back lines and goalkeepers. And Marcus Nagelstad winning that throw in. Yeah, Marich does such a great job of forcing the play one way, and that's how he got his early opportunity last game, is be able to create that high opportunity turnover to get a goal quick. Chattanooga with Jean-Antoine in goal, last year's Golden Glove winner in Nisa. Of course, he won that playing for Cal United Strikers. Aiden Bowers and Joseph Perez, who play at the back for Chattanooga, also coming from Cal United. Richard Dixon is the captain. And what a captain he is. Dictates things in midfield, just a destroyer, allowing so many other more creative players to flourish. Damian Rodriguez in the starting 11. Lionel Alvarenga, Juan Louis, Alex McGrath, Anatoly Prepolitsa, and, of course, Marcus Nagelstad. 
Louis was a player who really excited me last year, scored six goals for Syracuse. And he's in that left flank spot that Taylor Gray normally occupies. Both teams just kind of feeling it out right now. First three matches these two teams played last year ended nil-nil. Chattanooga came here in the regular season finale and came from behind to win 3-2. to two. Then, of course, the Stars getting the win down in Tennessee, 1-0 on a goal from Leon Marich to advance to the NISA Championship, which they won over Albion San Diego. That's Dixon. Yeah. Six is Jungwoo Su, 23-year-old from South Korea. In Ooh. his first professional contract, Marich fouling Preparitsa there. Anatoly Prepolitsa has been capped three times for Moldova. Played in a couple of European Championship qualifiers in 2019 against Eldora and Albania. Chattanooga really just taking their time, just trying to force them up, kind of getting them out of shape, doing a really good job. Bowers for Perez. And Louis wins a throw against Robert Yunchai. Of course, his big brother Steven is no longer with the club. He's playing in the first division in Slovenia. One of two players from last year's league champions that are now playing first division soccer in Europe, Vasilios Jogos, who was also on the Nisa first 11 a year ago, is playing in the Albanian first division. That's a neat touch yeah, from Noah Robinson. I think I missed one name in the Michigan Star starting lineup, and it's Hunter Olson, number 20, getting his first start for the club. The most attack-minded of the midfield three for the Stars. Really good technical player at a terrific Division Three collegiate career at Calvin College in the state of Michigan, 46 goals and 28 assists in four years. Campbell stepping forward to rescue possession. That's off of Robinson. Throw in goes to Chattanooga. Ryan Hummock is our referee tonight. Rob Ruda and Megan Brasseur, the two assistant referees. Evan Barnett is the fourth official. Yeah, Calvin College, Michigan State, Western Michigan, Michigan, so much talent in this state for, you know, homegrown players like Olsen. So not a surprise that Calvin is always good every year as well. <laughs> Anthony Bowie, who scored last year's championship winning goal for the Stars, played at Western Michigan. Nash Popovich, who has looked pretty good coming off the bench for the Stars so far this year, scored the penalty in their Open Cup Lost to Indy 11. He is not available tonight. A concussion suffered in practice has him out. And that's a shame because he's a definite difference maker from the bench. Absolutely. Former Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year at Michigan. Prepolitsa racing away yeah. from Leon Marich. <laughs> Big center back's taking that. Well, wow. 60 yards, and then sprayed that pass to the touchline straight out of play. I think he was tired of passing it through the back. He'd just take it up front himself, <laughs> it looked like. <laughs> well, you want a job done right, you do it yourself, That's don't right. you? That's right. That's right. Shalbon oh. clipping that up into the air. Oh. Olsen chasing after it. Met by Aiden Bowers. One of the former Cal United strikers. Out for a Chattanooga throw-in. Their wins this year in league play, 3-0 over Gold Star, 5-0 over Albion, 1-0 over Flower City Union last time out. Richard Dixon scoring his first goal for the club from the penalty spot. That was his first goal in 1,485 days. He scored in a 3-2 loss for the other Chattanooga team, Chattanooga Red Wolves, in a defeat to North Texas FC on March 30th of 2019. Really well-placed penalty, too. Was. He makes a count. No doubt about it. Nagelstad That's couldn't good. do anything with that. Olsen got the return ball from Bowie. Robinson racing okay. into the box. If he can keep this in play. Yes, yeah. he will. Near the oh. corner flag. But then 
Took a deflection off of his other foot, I think, and out for a Chattanooga throw. He had the idea down there. He just kind of lost control of the ball. Scored the Stars' first goal of the season. Noah Robinson, first professional goal in his first professional start at Savannah Clovers. Ooh. And Hogben tied up his man there, Nagelstad. Yeah, they're definitely taking away that through pass to Nagelstad every time, so they're doing a great job, the center backs are. A lot of what Michigan Stars do in the attack is run through Leon Marich. He'll take touches off to his midfield and then peel away and make a good run somewhere. He's been really locked in. Some of the stars were telling us he's been playing exceptionally well in training. And, well, we saw him score the two goals in the first 15 against Gold Star. And I like the Stars' defensive pressure right now. I think they're really keeping them on the attacking half. You can tell the, the back line is really pressing, compressing the field, and Chattanooga doesn't have a lot of opportunities to go forward. I like that. Campbell's throw. Nice touch. A little flick of the heel from Marich. Great skill from Olsen on display, too. Campbell got crowded out. Three blue shirts around him. That's a nifty ball for the run of Damian Rodriguez. Hogman getting back defensively. Turns it aside for a throw. So that's how they're going to try to break down that back line is you've got to be able to play it quick and move and play that ball wide. That was an excellent play by Nagelstad to get it wide. Golden boot winner from last year in Nisa. 20 goals and 7 assists. A couple so far this year in the league oh. and two more in the Open Cup. As Bowie is chopped okay. down by... Prepolitsa. That was a good foul. I mean, that was, you know, they were breaking out. Good foul. I think, you know, if he does that again, that's a yellow. And he gave him a yellow. So. so the first booking comes in the ninth <laughs> minute. So that's one center back on a yellow card. We saw with Yakov Shmelev two weeks ago when he was sent off. I think he forgot he was on a booking when he pulled yeah. down Max Rogova of Gold Star. So you cannot afford to lose track of what you no. can and cannot do. There was still, what, 30 minutes left in that game, too. So that made it tough. But they, they did finish it out. But very nerve-wracking for a coach to be down a player 30 minutes. Nagelstad with a wayward ball. Mm. Rondresh... Chalbot, 56th appearance in the league for Michigan Stars. Robert Yunchai tried to scoop that through the middle. Didn't quite come off. Baranovsky for Olsen. Great close control. Yeah, so again, very high pressure. Well done. Chattanooga's are struggling to find a way out. Changing the point of attack, that's Umeda for Marich. He had Robinson running ahead. Campbell's behind him currently. Nobody making a back yeah. post run, and that's all the way through for Jean Antoine. I like Dolson's movement there. When Marich went out wide, he made a nice run forward. Kind of pulled the defense out, opened that wide play for him to cross it over. Just nothing happened there. But that was a great move by Olsen to kind of get the defense off balance. Well, Chattanooga, they've got players in the midfield that can break you down and carry the ball forward. Alex McGrath, 33 in particular. Mm -hmm. Really, really talented player. Back with them for another go around. The Englishman, one goal in the league, one in the Open Cup. So far this season, I know from talking to Michigan Stars, that's the guy that they really want to slow down. Yeah. If you can choke off the supply lines to Marcus Nagelstad and mm -hmm. Juan Louis up top, 
You're going to need to find a way to keep the ball away from McGrath or at least get him going backwards or side to side. And look where he's at right now. I mean, he's further deep, right? He's in no position to create anything on the attack, and that's exactly what the Stars want. They want him removed from the attacking play. So it's working so far, and he's trying to get the ball. That's why he's re going retreating so far back to see if he can get some of the play. Rodriguez, one against two. Alvarenga, another former Cal United player. <laughs> Stars have one, too, of course, and Garrett Hogbin, one of the new center backs. Really, really good player and the vocal leader of the back line. Last year it was Matt Constant who has uh, moved on and is no longer with the club. This year, Hogbin makes their first 11 a season ago. Rodriguez laid that off. He's done a nice job. He's really finding the ball wide. That is a CFC throw in. Yeah, Rodriguez, only 20 years old and all of five foot five. Yeah. One goal in the Open Cup this year, one in the league last year. Chattanooga FC Academy player, and it's great to see. Clubs that do have youth systems starting to bear fruit. Nick Nicola, all of 17 years old for Michigan Stars from mm. their youth system, is available off the bench tonight. He's come off the bench in their first couple of league games. Free kick in what could be a threatening area here for Chattanooga. Absolutely. Well, and you've got a natural finisher like Marcus Nagel <laughs> starting to get on the end of it in a big presence like Anatoly Prepolitsa. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult to defend. They've put a high line up, so they're going to play that ball in behind that defense, and it's going to be important to see what happens between the defense and the goalkeeper in this situation. It's Alvarenga and McGrath standing over this. Alvarenga. Great ball. McGrath oh. blocked behind for a corner, came off of Umida. Great defensive play there. Well-designed play by Chattanooga. Yeah, I don't think that was the angle we were expecting no, the cross to come no, in No, I was expecting a right-footed uh, you know, play behind the ball, but they brought that second player up and went the other way. What's the same two on the corner? Short routine, oh. McGrath further back to the 20-yard line to Dixon. Oh, weak side here. Alvarenga, chance to get Ooh. the cross in. Hogben heads away. Good win. Marich chasing after it. Well, there were three men back for Chattanooga. Yep. They've got the throw in. They move the benches to the opposite side, by the way. They're normally on the press box side over here. Mm. Bad weather in the forecast for later this evening, and the only way to put the tents up was to do it across the way so as not to obscure our cameras, and we appreciate that. Absolutely. Uh, coaches and players kind of appreciate it, too, because then they don't hear the heckling <laughs> from the crowd. So <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Was popped oh. backwards, found its way to Dixon. Rodriguez can keep this in on the right. Oh, Campbell's over there with him. Well done. Rodriguez for Jungwoo Su gets barged over in the box. Yeah. Nothing given. Ryan Homick, the referee, immediately waved it away. Yeah, this is a little, little, little touch. Nothing, nothing major there. Well, we had Not talked at this level. <laughs> we, <laughs> we had talked earlier, TJ, about Chattanooga being unable to get out of their own half here. Mm -hmm. They've had constant possession for the last ten minutes or so. Yeah, absolutely, and they're doing a great job. Again, the first ten minutes, you're always kind of feeling each other out, definitely on this side. But Rodriguez is doing an excellent job. Um, I'm really impressed with him and his ability to just kind of hold the ball on that width and then set it up for other players to make a run through. He's done a great job with that. So neither goalkeeper, Tatenda Makruva or Jean-Antoine, have had a whole lot to do in the first 16 minutes. I think most NISA observers will tell you, will tell you these are the two best keepers in the league. Antoine, the Gold Glove winner last year. Tatenda Makruva has been good for the Stars for a long time, former Zimbabwe international. Well, that's given right back to the oh. Stars. 
Robinson had McGrath beat him to the ball. I don't think he realized he was there. Good win. He's worked well to win that back off of Dixon, the captain. And that's sent out wide by Yun Chai. Nobody there in white. So again, just kind of keeping the ball, seeing what they can find an opening anywhere. And again, as soon as that ball's played in marriage, right away forcing the play. Again, great win. Baranovsky yeah. read it. Ac excellent job. Oh, Baranovsky carrying this a long, long way. Flag is up for offside. But again, you can see they're trying to play through Nagelstad, and every time they're reading it really well and creating a counterattack. So really nice job. Well, it feels like they're defending more or less the same as they did last year against Chattanooga, and mm. we mentioned it already. First three matches between these two clubs ended yeah. goalless. Then we had a goal in the first two minutes in the fourth and final regular season match through <laughs> Nemanja Vazdic of Michigan Stars. Anthony Bowie would score later. The goals for Chattanooga right. coming from Marcus Nagelstadt, naturally. Right, right. And a pair from Brett Jones in the second half. Got to be careful here. Uh, Joseph Have Perez. Yeah, you don't really want to be caught dawdling on the no. ball in your own defensive third against the Stars because they will close in on you and collapse on you in a hurry. And again, that's how it set up their first goal for Marich last time. Again, turnover high up the field and their easy counterattack and get a great opportunity to score. Sue. Oh, gosh, almost had it taken away by yeah. Robinson. Yeah, and there it Repolita. is. Yeah, he did lose it to Robinson. Yeah. But that is not the ball that Robinson was hoping to be played no. back to him. <laughs> yeah, and Chattanooga just probing. They're, again, doing a good job of just trying to find their moments, pick their moments where they can, you know, maybe break them down, but... McCruva, a goalkeeper who is not afraid to play well off his line. That sweeper keeper sometimes yeah. gives coaches migraines, uh, keep you up at night, not absolutely. him. He is very, very calm and composed. Absolutely. I mean, it's good speed to be able to play that way. I mean, that's key for that. Bowers and Louis. They've got some difference makers that can come off the bench, Chattanooga. Burke, the substitute keeper, Garcia Sosa, Gray, Lopez, Wape, who scored a couple of times this year, Fabian Rodriguez, and Colin Stripling. Yeah, Gray is a special player. I really enjoyed kind of watching him over the last few weeks and just seeing what he can do in the attack. Um, hoping to see him sometime maybe this game. We'll see. I know they've had a busy schedule this past week, so maybe he needs the rest, but I'm hoping to get a chance to see him. Michigan Stars bench, Mo Allawine, Ezra Brown, Prosper Figby, Noah Lawrence, the substitute keeper, Niels Lelouch, Roberto Maya, and Nicholas Nicola, the 17-year-old. Last time I saw a 17-year-old in a professional game, his name was Freddie Adu. So, you know, <laughs> well, you would have seen him at age 14 as well. I probably did, but I saw him in Kansas City. So, Chattanooga free Ooh. kick. Tough tackle. Well, these two teams are full of those. This was a really engaging rivalry last year. It's Jung Woo Su who is down. Mm. Played at Drury University in Missouri. Scored a couple of goals for them last year. A 
looks like he's okay. Walk it off. Anytime you take a cleat to the top of the foot, it doesn't feel real nice. No, it never does. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't found one time that that happened to me that it ever felt good. So. Especially when it's chilly and it's getting oh. chillier and chillier as the oh. sun starts to set. Bowie helps that on. Yun Chai racing after it, beaten to it by Joseph Perez, and put straight out of play by Antoine for a Michigan Stars throw. Neither team has had a shot yet in the 23rd minute. Here comes is this Bowie for the long throw. Must be. We'll have to do this with the breeze. Oh, boy. We'll have to angle it right. He does have a terrific long throw in. A foul in the box. And Chattanooga has a free kick. Long throw is one of the hardest things to defend because you have almost like a free kick, and but the ball coming in, you have, as a defender, you have to stand there and watch all these people coming at you and this ball whipped at you. <laughs> it is not fun. So anytime you have that, it is a weapon. And even they utilized that uh, in their last game. They got a goal opportunity in the first half. You can make a career out of having a good long throw Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Yeah. Rory Delap did that for a long mm -hmm. time in the Premier League with Stoke. even if you could find somebody to flip throw it too. So don't forget that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's kind of a product of a bygone era, but I hope somebody will bring that back Absolutely. into fashion. Every now and again, I'll work a high school game where yeah. somebody has a flip throw and everybody just loses their minds. <laughs> yep. It was a pretty big deal when I was growing up in the 80s, 90s, but yeah, you don't see it very often. I'd dislocate both shoulders if I tried uh, something like that, I'm sure. Or break my neck, probably, because <laughs> I would land wrong. So, um. Yeah, a couple of broken legs and yeah, hips no, and shoulders. No thanks. Yeah. And I wouldn't be able to pull it off anyway, so there's yeah. no point in trying. <laughs> like I said, I think that's why you can just stand up and do it the normal way and throw it far, and they'll take that like Bowie can do, so. Again, a lot of patience. Again, here it is. Turnover. Can they do something with it? It was Olsen who won that back. Here's Bowie. Looking for Yun Chai. Yeah, the deflection came off of a Michigan star. I think about 25 minutes in, I think they've done a really good job, the Stars have, of just keeping the play. I mean, when you look at it, they really, the Chattanooga hasn't really been able to get anything, you know, going into the attack. Um, well, the Ferris Stars haven't necessarily either, but these are the kind of things right now, the turnover, right? And now he gets this opportunity. Well, it was a great win by Umeda. Marich couldn't keep the shot down. First shot of the game, I think, yeah. for either team. Yeah. But that's key. That's what Marich is looking for, right? I mean, he's... Right, he's high up the field. They turn him over behind him. He gets that ball. It's a good opportunity to take a quick shot. And as a goal scorer, those are the ones you want. <laughs> Comes right to your feet, and you get to turn and just take a shot. Prepolitsa going along. Good win. Hogbin's header wide. And Campbell just inside of Robinson. Sue picked it up. That's Aiden Bowers. You know his dad a little bit, don't you? Yeah, kind of small world. Uh, Aiden Bowers' dad, Sean, um, lifetime you know, like soccer player, played actually for Detroit uh, Rockers back in the day in the 90s, went to the Kansas City Wizards in the MLS. Uh, his dad was a junior college coach at Miramar and uh, recruited a couple of his players, so got to know him well in the uh, – 2010s period and uh he was a great player and i'm sure his son is uh, obviously doing well and is in filling his dad's shoes now playing at the next level yeah sean bowers also former u.s futsal yeah. national team captain over 100 appearances for kansas city wizards it's funny how small the soccer world can Absolutely. be sometimes right to a player from california now playing for a team in tennessee oh i know his dad yep yep just looking at the roster, I'm like, that has to be Sean's son. <laughs> has to be. 
And he had a sister, too, that was an excellent college soccer player as well. So soccer's in the family. Merrick has done really well there. Oh, There's the cross. Ooh, almost ball. found Yunchai. Nearly backed up by Bowie. Couldn't quite get there in time. Star still in possession. You talked about it, the, the patience that both sides have mm -hmm. shown. We know Michigan Stars, obviously, last year they won with defense, not afraid to be patient and physical. And Campbell is down. We play on. Here comes Bowie running at the defense. Anthony Great Bowie opportunity. Great run. left that wide. There's the run from Shalbot trying to stay out of the way, and he does. It goes behind for a corner. What a great run. It's like a punt returner trying not to touch a ball that's bounced. <laughs> it was an excellent run down the wing and really sets up a good opportunity now to see if they can get one in the back of the net on this corner. Fitting that Ayunchai stands over a set piece. Steven took them last year. This is Robert. Can he feed a line drive into the Ooh. box? It was a decent delivery, but couldn't find a teammate. That is a Chattanooga throw in, so that'll relieve the pressure. I don't know if it's getting darker because rain clouds are coming in or if it's actually starting to get dark. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of rain in this area the last few days, so I'm hoping it's it's done with. Yeah, we both live in the Toledo, Ohio area, and we had over a half inch of rain yeah. yesterday. Lots been rained out, even the odd Toledo Mudhens game, and they never cancel. Got canceled. Well, they canceled our, our garage sale, so my family was upset. So <laughs> well, you just, just to had to have stuff. the had to have the whole sale in the garage. <laughs> right. Nice little touch. Nagelstad, a name that we haven't called all that often no. so far this evening. Oh, Louis yes. with his pace trying to latch onto this. It's well covered. Well done. Campbell and Baranovsky. Marich looking for that ball deep. Won't find him. No. Papalitsa got under it. Trying to make a run behind. Oh, switch it up. Yeah, it might have been the intent. The mm -hmm. intent. It was played behind Louis. Yeah. And that misses everyone. Yeah. Ooh. Bowie for Yuncha. It's kind of a risky ball. And Rodriguez can keep it in on the far side off the heel of Shalbud. So Rodriguez has switched sides now. Going to see if he can get something going on the left. McGrath just behind Rodriguez is getting to the line Great. trying to put a cross in and Bowie concedes the corner fifteen minutes remaining in the first half goalless here on eleven sports rematch of last year's semifinal Michigan stars the eventual winners of the Nisa crown. Chattanooga, nine points from three games in the league so far. Mason Lowry, TJ Buchholz, great to have you here in Southeast Michigan on this Saturday night. Ooh. Line drive corner for Noggle start of the near post as Flick Header goes behind. We talked about him, he, Nagelstad. He just finds the ball, right? He from Somehow in a, a group of people with the corner, he finds the opening and he gets a head on it. Like that, That's a goal scorer. Didn't go on where he wanted it, but he still finds the ball. And Sue gets tripped. Robinson gives the free kick away. A lot of the play in the middle of the field, you're going to see a lot of fouling happen because there's so much possession taking place that at some point somebody might just get tired and foul somebody because <laughs> they just want something to happen. But, but you've seen a lot of fouls in the middle part of the field. Marich. Well, he won right that back two. and then was pulled down by Joseph yeah. Perez. We got a talking to, but I think that's all. Yeah. Mm. 
Merrick with 11 career goals for the Stars and four assists. Always lively, and he will really punish you. Yeah, he's a, he's a great player. It's fun to watch him and just kind of seeing his development from last year to this year and already off to a, a really good start on the season. So definitely a key player on this team. A short free kick. Backside here, yep. Different angle, Hogman serving this in. Chattanooga deals with it. Well done. Rodriguez cut off by Shalbot. Backline's done a great job for the Stars. They really haven't conceded much, and, and even what they had, they've you know even when those deep threats happen and they give up a corner, that's okay because they're not getting a close look on the goal for a shot. So excellent job by the back line. Prepolitsa pulled back by Marich. It is a foul, but that's all. Yeah. Prepolitsa and the rest of the CFC crew, they want a yellow card. <laughs> yeah. They maybe have a case, but they're not going to get one. Nah. And Prepolitsa saying, what about me? Yeah, right, right. I'm on one. You booked me in the first 10 minutes. A little fair, but you didn't see much there. It was a little bit of a tug back, but I think in this kind of where it was at, he's just going to let it play. I'm enjoying a little bit of what I'm hearing from the Chattahooligans, <laughs> by the way, too. down below us. Yeah. It's a little chilly, so we've mostly got our windows closed up. Four of them are standing yeah. by the railing down below Gotta us. Gotta admire the uh, loyalty. And, That's you know, fantastic. They draw here. so well at home that Absolutely. Chattanooga FC supporters are just top notch. There's another foul. So that's a card. So similar to what Marriage did, but it's uh, I guess it's a continual infraction of pulling people back as finally gets a yellow for him. That's Robert Yunjai going into the book. One of the CFC fans was shouting out, how many, ref? How many does he get? The answer is that many. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you see what kind of service Chattanooga can provide here. They've shown some different looks from yeah. free kicks. Very little has been straightforward yeah. from set plays. No. Nope. When you have a keeper like Makruva who can come off his line and play so high, it's hard to get that ball in behind. He does a great job with that. So they back line can play a high line with that. All the way back to Jean Antoine. There's another one. Ooh. Just misplayed. Prepolitsa looking for Sue. Yeah. talked about this being such a defensive battle in the past it's it's looking like it's going to be another mm -hmm. one tonight I mean feels like it might either take a miscue yeah. or a moment of individual brilliance for someone to score mm -hmm. and Campbell played that behind Hunter Olson Marich trying to win it back oh very nearly did Umeda nipping at the heels. McGrath popping that to the touchline. Perez kept it in. Here's Lionel Alvarenga. Again, just kind of doing, keeping the possession in the middle there and just kind of seeing what opens up for him. That's all they're kind of looking for at this point. See if there's a window of opening for Nagelstad to get something going. Yeah, Rodriguez was holding Shalbud back, I think it was. Merritt. 
Sarich knocking that on. It's swept away by Perez. Dixon for Alvarenga. Ooh, he had a little touch, but couldn't do anything with it. Nice little passing triangle from CFC. Very rarely in this first half has anybody been able to carry the ball away from anyone else. We saw the Runs from the center backs. Yeah, Prepolitza right. <laughs> earlier for Chattanooga. Baranovsky did it once for Michigan Stars. That's about it. Yeah. Well, it's difficult to pass your way through either of these teams, yeah. though, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're going to see a lot more of this, you know, just kind of trying to go over top. But, again, with Makruva playing so high off there, his line, it's just tough to get anything going even behind him. Maybe for a second ball, after the ball goes over from the backs, it might be played back into the midfield. Could be the opportunity for, for Chattanooga. And ooh. Almost fell right to the feet of Noah Robinson. I think you're right. Just some, some missed touch might open up something for the Stars. Kind of like watching the midfielders a little bit, just trying to break through that pressure by running through that back line, doing something to find a window to get something going. This is a great, good opportunity here. Alvarenga well, finding McGrath in a bit of space. Campbell retreats. That opens up a little pocket for McGrath to advance into. No chance to get a cross in. Here's Alvarenga tiptoeing into the box. The shot is yeah. blocked away for a throw in. Came off of Hogbin. Uh, had some good movement there and some good, possibly a good opportunity. Bowie, how did he pull him down? No, says the referee. Chance for the Stars maybe to break, but oh. Marich, that wasn't the kind of touch that he wanted. Nagelstad holding up. Again. Hogman did very, very well. Great job. Had no opportunity to turn. Yeah, Umeda goes long. Oh. And that's who Ooh. spinning past John Antoine. And Antoine's way off his line. Robinson only could do was tuck it under the goalkeeper I'm into the sure photographer what, behind for a goal kick. I'm not sure what that was. Looked like he could have done something a little bit quicker there. But yeah, well, that could have been a disaster from Chattanooga's right. point of view. <laughs> Must have saw something different that we didn't see up here, but I would have probably been a little bit more rushed on that play. Campbell climbing over <laughs> Juan Louis. <laughs> five minutes left. This is a key time. You always say as a coach with the last five minutes, you know, what can you do to find a window? Maybe the team's taken, you know, a little bit, you know, off their game just to kind of get to the half, see if there's something that might open up for either team here. And Louis with a poor touch. Scored twice here last April for Syracuse. He's a really good mm -hmm. wide player. Mm -hmm. And I think into a really good situation with Chattanooga. He'll be in that regular forward rotation with Taylor Gray, among others. Schaubot got out of the way to disrupt. Nagelstad has to come back to get a touch. He held it for Jung Woo Soo. Louise ahead of him. Robinson did well. Very well. And C Campbell had two players ahead of him, and he split the difference. He had Robinson <laughs> to his left and Olsen to his right. See, looking for that long ball again, trying to get over that, you know, midfield kind of jam you know, with all those players in the middle there. See if there's something that can open up behind the defense. Good 
Baranovsky barreling forward. Again, the Stars have much more play to be able to generate an attack. A lot more depth in their ability to, you know, create stuff on the offensive side with the way Chattanooga is defensively playing. What a tackle. That's good from Baranovsky. Wiley veteran from the Ukraine, 33 years old. In his 17th pro season, eight years in the Ukrainian Premier League. Mm. He's played in Uzbekistan and Tajikistan the last three years in Kazakhstan. In fact, we're in Tajikistan. He played in an AFC Cup final back in 2017. So he's hit most of the stands, I'm tell it sounds like, right? <laughs> he's got yeah. that going. Well, it's great to have him here. He's a great player. And not every team at this level has somebody with that much experience mm -hmm. under their belt. Chattanooga, one of the few that does. And Richard Dixon, a lot of experience in USL. A great steady hand for CFC. It's just great to see all these leagues and the success that you can have with the, these top-end players that are in these leagues. I mean, that was, as we talked about earlier, you didn't, we didn't have that growing up, and mm -hmm. now you have this just wealth of soccer all over the United States. And it, it's, it's just been great to see the development in this country. Lots and lots of places to play now. Mm -hmm. Nice try by Umeda with the outside of his boot. Like we were joking, late 80s, early 90s, it was all about being a MISL player, an indoor <laughs> soccer league player. I didn't know there was a, even a path for outdoor, and now you have all these, you know, great leagues in the United States for path for players, not just, you know, obviously internationally, but domestically as well. Yeah, indoor soccer, a distinctly American thing. Yeah. <laughs> Campbell's got a good long throw on him as well. Dixon heads that up into the air. Prepolitsa nods it away. Ooh. That was down by Bowie. The shot was from Yun Chai. That was blocked almost immediately. Perez hooks it forward. Shouldn't be a whole lot of time added on at the end of this first half, I wouldn't uh -huh. think. A minute, maybe two. No goals, not a lot of stoppages, just two bookings. Baranovsky is in an advanced position on the left. Prepolitsa read that nicely. He's had a really He's good first great. half. Yeah, he really has. The foul goes against Bowie. There is just one minute of stoppage time. Bowie's yeah. such a physical presence in midfield. It was McGrath whom he took out. Again, that was one of their key players, right? Disrupt his game. That's, that's definitely a way to disrupt it for sure. There he is in behind, but again, Kruva's right there. That's the advantage of having a goalkeeper like that. So good off of his line and anything that's going to get behind the defense, most of the time that, that he's going to be able to eat up, no problem. Final sequence of the first half. Shalbot won that in the air. Umida finding Hunter Olsen on the turn. Robinson to his left, finds him. Has a few options in the middle. Robinson trying to get down the line for the cross. Oh. Sent that to the near post. Umeda could do nothing with it. Great win. Bowie back in possession. Shalbon, here he comes. Can he get down the line, get across? Three waiting there in the box. Is. Pulls that back. Oh, oh that was scuffed. Mm, Hunter Olsen. Will be a corner. Great. Should be just enough time to take it. It's maybe the best sequence in an attacking Absolutely. sense so far for the Stars. And you got your you got marriage on the end of that, and that's who you want to take that shot, right? Every time, and just kind of mishit it. He's frustrated right now. He's disappointed. Yun Chai's delivery. That's deep. Trying to find Baranovsky to head it back across. Oh, He'll get a cross in. Oh. Back post carried a little too much and behind. Now that's the first forty-five minutes. Really, really good defensive play from both sides. We'll see if either team can break the other down in the second half. Yeah, it's gonna. There'll definitely be a few adjustments at halftime because obviously they want to get a little more attack. Each team does. So we'll see what they do coming out in the second half. 
You're watching NISA on 11 Sports on this Saturday night. Michigan Stars nil, Chattanooga FC nil. Back for the second half in just a little bit. Michigan Stars, I think, are unchanged from the first half. Detenda McGroove in goal, Jacob Campbell, Garrett Hogman, Artem Baranovsky, Andres Schalbot across the back line, midfield three of Anthony Bowie, Kotero, Umeda, and Hunter Olson, Robert Yunchai, and Leon Marich, and Noah Robinson all out there. Saw the Chattanooga FC 11 huddle up. They, I believe, are unchanged as well. Yeah. Mason Lowry, TJ Buchholz. Nice to have you along on this Saturday night. Hope the rain holds off here in Romeo. Wouldn't mind if it started raining goals, but with that these would two, be great. so good at the back, yeah. not terribly likely. We said it might take an individual mistake or a bit of individual brilliance to give us a goal. And as we've said, it's not like a nil-nil between these two teams is an uncommon thing happening. Right, right. Not once, not twice, but thrice last year. So CFC in Navy will be moving from right to left in the second half. Michigan Stars attacking the goal to our right. Anatoly Prepolitsa, a long ball forward. Some of the chatter on social media during the halftime break. Prepolitsa, from the Chattanooga point of view, probably the man of the match so far. I would agree with that. He's been very, very good. Oof. Two Chattanooga players take each other out. McGrath yeah. is one of them. And Prepolitsa the other. Yeah. You'd expect a big center back to be in the battles, but hopefully it's against someone from the other team. Yeah. Definitely a tough collision there. But I agree. Prepolitsa has just been phenomenal in that first half. Just everything in the air, just winning the ball, tackles, everything has just been spot on for, for him in the back line. Just really taking charge back there. So he'll have to come off for the moment. Alex McGrath, he'll be waved back on quickly, I would think. Artem Baranovsky, the big Ukrainian over the free kick. Angled near the edge of the 18. Prepolitsa, he's clearly doing all right. Heads right. away. Jungwoo Su with a slice up into the air. Umeda with a neat little touch back to Olsen. Baranovsky the deepest of the field players for the Stars. Robinson heading it on, but nobody up there in white. All the way to Jean Antoine, last year's Golden Glove winner in Nisa. Holding up a little bit. And checking on Jungwoo Su. Yeah. He may still be reeling. He took a hard tackle in the first half. He might still be. He's taken a few of them, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Well, you got to be ready for those against Michigan Stars. Yep. The tackles will fly in thick and fast. Again, similar start of the second half. Same sort of idea, just a little bit. You know, Chattanooga just breaking them down, patient out of the back. It's Damian Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's so small, but he operates so well in oh, very yeah. tight spaces. Small, and he's got some real pace to him. Absolutely. Like him an awful lot. Yeah, he's done a lot of good work here. And he's in between the lines right now. So hes they're trying to make him a focal point to get that ball in the middle. Shalbud won that free kick. Ogben helps him to his feet. Shalbud, a former Venezuela youth international. The Chicago Fire youth system as well. Now in his late 20s. Really versatile, can play right or left back, right or left midfield. There's a lot that he can do. And he gives you that quickness and aggression that this Michigan Stars team wants to play with. 
That was a Good great ball on the free kick. Headed down by Anthony Bowie. Was looking for Hogman, the closest of his teammates to it. Ooh, that was an excellent ball wide and a great ball in. It's popped to Rodriguez. Oh, it's a little too much. Nice cushion ball from Baranovsky. And Marich came back from Ooh. an offside position. Close. You know, for a big man, mm -hmm. really big man like Leon Marich, you don't necessarily expect a guy like that to have the technical ability mm -hmm. and all the little flicks and tricks that he's got. Yeah, it makes him very difficult to defend because he can do, you know, he can play both ways. That You know, he can be a target forward and do what he needs to up there, but then he also is technical enough to really impact the game and, you know, bring other people involved in the game, which is excellent. Aiden Bowers looking for Juan Louis. It's Lionel Alvarenga. So, so, again, so much traffic in the middle right now. Great run. Merritt is trying to get up there. Ah, great defense. Robinson, he made that run. Umeda made that tackle to give the free kick away. Noah Robinson brought in from St. Joseph's College in Maine. Scored 23 goals in four years there. From Wappingers Falls, New York. 25 years old on his first professional contract. He's had a really good start to life here in Southeast Michigan. Prepolitsa finding Perez. Both teams have a player with that kind of blue raspberry <laughs> colored hair. Yeah. Perez does and Tatenda McCruve I think has a little patch of it. I think you're inspired by it. I'm expecting maybe a new look for you, possibly. You want to well, maybe and, do one and, of those? And I'm up here wearing a similarly colored Chuck Taylors. You'll have to take <laughs> my are. word for it. <laughs> TJ will vouch for me. I will, yes. Here's, <laughs> here's Robinson. So that's your attempt to kind of match match him there with the Yeah, but, but they're, they wear it way better than I do. Absolutely. I, if I could, I would. That's for sure. They do well, wear it well. Yeah, I've never seen you with hair, let alone I know. blue raspberry well, hair. you know. In my former life, I, I might have had dreadlocks, you know, in my <laughs> former life. So that was a soccer cut back in the day. We all wanted to have big hair like. Um, yeah, only Kyle Beckerman could do that. Oh. Or you, th uh, Carlos Valderrama. Valderrama. Back then? Yeah, El Pibe. He was, he was our man. He didn't have dreadlocks, but he had a great, you know, set it. Great big hair. Great big Afro hair. Colombian, international. Played for the Mutiny back in the day, Tampa Bay. Is the epitome of the elegant footballer. Oh, absolutely. I'm not sure he ever defended a player, but he sure could do <laughs> a lot in the midfield with his ability to create an attack. If, if I could do what he did, I wouldn't defend either. That's exactly right. I think everybody on the field knew that he wasn't going to defend. So if you were on his team, you had to cover for him. On its way to Andres Schalbot. Robert Yunchai off of his shins yeah. and out for a throw in. Couldn't turn much there. Again, just trying to open up some holes. McGrath did a good job of trying to open up something coming back into the midfield, but it's just really hard to break these stars down. Jacob Campbell back for his first appearance of the season. Had hernia surgery right after the championship match last year. He played injured through the playoffs. It was a major part of the Stars' run to the championship. Here's Shalbot. Now, yeah, it's the one thing you can't do is no. poke it that hard straight forward. 
especially on a turf surface, that ball's going to run. Right idea, just a little too, uh, too big of a touch there. That hit the Not shoulder or chest of yeah. Baranovsky. Mm. Couldn't find the feet of Leon Marich. Off of Shalbun. Well played by Joseph Perez. Spent three years with Puebla's under 20 team in Mexico. Major part of his soccer education. Lionel Alvarenga pulled down by Bowie. Perez also with Las Vegas Lights in USL Championship 1904 FC, the previous incarnation of Albion. San Diego, LA Force, and then Cal United. The run. Alvarenga to the byline. Oh. And he fouled uh, Shalbot. Nice has now been around long enough that you're seeing some players that have played for as many as four different Nisa clubs. <laughs> yeah. It's not that old of a league. Shame to see Cal United yeah. not part of things this year. So successful last year, beaten by Albion in the semifinal. I'm not sure that many observers would have predicted a Michigan Stars Albion San Diego championship match. Hmm. Rodriguez is down, now getting back to his feet. Michigan Stars peeling the other way. Good counter attack here, numbers forward. It was Olsen. There's Ooh. the cross, looking for Marich. Slid away by Bowers. Yeah, Marich offside. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's an arm around him from Jean Antoine. Yeah, I think it was just tried to do a little poke at the end there. Nothing, nothing too dangerous. He just trying to make something happen. Got in the way with the keeper. Little, little talking to by the ref, Merritt. <laughs> just tell him to be careful. Yeah, I know, but cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've not been able to create much, Chattanooga, in the first mm -hmm. 56 minutes. Quiet night for Marcus Nogglestad. We've talked yeah. about this is probably a team with some tired legs. They were in Birmingham, Alabama just a couple of days ago playing in the Open Cup. They went 120 minutes, lost in a penalty shootout to Birmingham Legion. They immediately catch a flight up here to Michigan. Boy, nothing given for a trip there. So I think the key with this, too, is to watch, you know, as much possession as, you know, Chattanooga's had, especially through their back line in the midfield. Nagelstad hasn't done a lot of work, so they could be, you know, you could see a little bit more activity out of him. Um, in the second half where, you know, because he didn't do much in the first half, he's still going to have, you know, some energy in his legs. You look at Marich, who, you know, was obviously doing a lot to dictate, you know, their defensive scheme and pressing the ball up there. He, he had a different role in the first half based on Nagelstad, but he's going to have some energy in the second half. Marich, good layoff. Yeah. And Yun Chai running after this. Perez puts it out for a throw in. Nicola would be an obvious attacking substitute mm -hmm. for the Stars. It's good from Yun Chai, but yep. then Perez able to swim his way by him. Yep. Roberto Maya, very good college player out west at UC Davis, and then Cal Irvine a season ago. He's somebody that maybe could come on. They're 
Don't have Milo Barton available for this one, nor Nash Popovich. Yeah, it's tough to see him at Irvine and then also at UC Davis. Those are in the same conference, so I wonder how that game went when they played each other <laughs> <laughs> the next year out in the Big West. Spent really competitive some, soccer league. Spent some time at UC Riverside in the Big West, so I know that league pretty well. Alvarenga. Back with Sue. And now Juan Louis. Tried to pop it back to him, but Star snuff it out. Again, a lot of the same first start, 15 minutes. Looks a lot like the first half. Looking for that ball over top. Looks like he's on. It's Rodriguez. Oh, what a Gets play. away from Shalbot. There's the cross. Chance for Nagelstadt. It's blocked. There he is. And Perez has to go backwards. Chung Wu Su is spun That's down by Marich. Be, and now I think will be the yellow yeah, card. I think so. Indeed. It's not much, but it's enough. Yeah, it's enough. And he, he did it before, too. And he's been warned, so... You're not going to get away with it again. I think you're seeing, too, again, that ball over top is going to be where they're going to find that success. And you saw there, got in, you know, was able to make something happen. And who do they find? They find Nagelstad, right? He's he's the guy. He always seems to find the ball. So look for a little bit more of that the remainder of the game to see if they can get behind uh, the Stars' defense. So we saw Alvarenga and McGrath over set pieces in the first half. They always conjured up something interesting. Yeah. If not necessarily effective. We'll see if they go for something a little more direct here. Sue and Perez are alongside them. Watch that space in behind the wall. A little touch. Overinga through. Dixon heads on. Hogben only clears Oop. as far as Bowers. That's easy yeah. enough for Tatenda Makruva. Hasn't had a whole lot to do this evening. Good distribution. Only found Yun Chai, but Olsen yeah. couldn't keep it in. Again, just trying to find a way, but Makruva playing so high, it's going to be tough. I mean, in that ball, he's really smart at reading the play in behind. Like you said, the sweeper-keeper is great to have. And long and direct balls have not often been a recipe for success against Michigan Stars. Now we'll see our first changes of the night. Coming in the 63rd minute. And Lenny Lopez will come on and will replace Marcus Nagelstad for Chattanooga. But first, Nicholas Nicola will replace Robert Yunchai, so that's a change on the right wing. Lenworth Lopez Jr. Scored off the bench against Albion, his first Nisa goal. Five goals at Iona, his senior year of college. Big guy playing up top, six foot three, will give them something a little bit different yeah. to what Nagelstad gives them. Jean Louis trying to come in and take a shot that's blocked immediately by Jacob Campbell. Prepolitsa, big Again. thumping <laughs> header forward. He has been a more than worthy addition to the Chattanooga FC cause this year. Yeah, such a presence back there. Ooh. 
Oh, Umino goes flying, but nothing given. Here comes Chattanooga. Louis and now Lopez can't get anything on the turn. He was forced away from goal by Garrett Hogben. And when you have a center back like Prepolitza, he does such a good job at winning those balls. It can start to get frustrating for the, the center forward like Marich who has to deal with that player. He's doing a great job of just keeping everything away from him and not letting it be dangerous, especially out of the air. But you think like Marich is a is a you know strong, you know, forward, center forward. That, that's huge to kind of send that message that you're not going to be able to win that battle. Closing speed from Shalbutt to head that out near the corner flag. Score doesn't always tell the story. I feel like so far it has. It's been dominated by both teams out of possession, really. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Perez and Dixon and company can change that. Just looking for that one real moment of quality to unlock Michigan Stars. They haven't kept a clean sheet this year. Drew 1-1 with Savannah Clovers and Clover's first ever professional match. 2-1 win over Gold Star. Lost 3-1 after extra time to Indy 11 in the USL Championship. That was a match in which the Stars had a chance to win it. The very end of regulation, the Indy 11 keeper made a tremendous save. But their class and their fitness, the USL Championship side, yeah. scored twice in extra time. It's Lopez for Louis. He'll run it. Campbell. And Louis has a shot. That's blocked. Always bodies in the way for Michigan Stars. Yeah, great. Kind of set it up, rebalance. Now, Joseph Perez may need to make a little bit of an adjustment to how he defends because yeah. Nicholas Nicola is a different kind of wide player to Robert Yunchai. Yunchai is not really a threat to take the ball past you. He's very good on set-piece deliveries. Yep. Nicola is a little bit more direct and wants to get up the wing and get crosses and shots in. Throw in for Chattanooga. Yeah, and Chattanooga is getting that ball up high, kind of forcing the ball out of bounds and giving them opportunities to start a possession higher up the field now. Let's we'll see if they can do something with it. Marich trying to hold everyone off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one versus two, one versus three. One, one versus Again. all of them is maybe a bridge too far. Oh, McGrath win. has won this back in a good position. Richard Dixon, the captain. Oh. Away by Campbell, only as far as Jungwoo Su. Lopez, power Lopez. and pace. Got a shove from Baranovsky. Ooh. That's really a silly foul. Yeah. Lopez did a great job of getting kind of bodied with him and sort of getting a, a little bit ahead of him, and he had to make a foul there. Not a smart foul at all. So a free kick from very close to the byline. Mm -hmm. The familiar two on free kick duty, McGrath and Alvarenga. Yeah. You don't have a Marcus Nagelstadt on the pitch now to get on the end of this, but you do have a Lenny Lopez at 6'3", yeah. and Prepolitza right on the line trying to shield McCruva. Great well, win. Could have gone anywhere. Yeah. The second ball is always dangerous in these balls. He plays it back in here, that second ball. Great job by the Stars.
and this is where it's tough. You just can't break the stars down in the midfield. I think this midfield trio has looked more effective than the midfield three that the Stars ran out against Gold Star Detroit. Mm -hmm. These guys cover a fair amount of ground. Yep. Umeda and Bowie and then Olsen, the most forward thinking of them. There again, something direct that's mopped yep. up by the keeper. And again, Makruga just right in the play. Oh. Olsen on the run, a strong challenge yeah. by the captain, Dixon. Wow. Well, we keep going with Olsen still rolling around on the deck, and, and now the whistle goes. Hey, took our challenge there. Stars went, you know. they If he was down, they, they could have waited for their player, but he was open down the line, so... Yeah, might as well, huh? Yeah, I think they just, marriage was so open down there, they just went for it. and But I don't think marriage realized they were a player down when he played that, you know, played that ball back across the inside the 18. He was missing a player to go finish that off because he was, he was down. <laughs> Olsen's had a good game walking kind of gingerly. Yeah. It was a good but painful yeah. tackle put in by Dixon. Yeah, nice sportsmanship there by Dixon. Yeah, this game hurts sometimes when you do it right. Yeah. Prepolitsa wants Looking something, forward. anything yeah. ahead of him. Again, there's just that long direct ball just wasn't on. No. And that's where you're going to have to get the ball. You're going to have to come back for it. Louis still oh, going down the right. Goal. Skins Jacob Campbell. Can he pull this back for a teammate? Ooh. Oh, Lopez. Little half wow. chance and balloons it. Great run. It's a tough ball to deal with. I mean, that ball in the air, he had to one touch it out of the air. I mean, He'd like he'd like it back, I'm sure, but in traffic there and trying to put it on frame, it's 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 harder than it looks. Wilson tried to spin that for Merich. But definitely some things starting to open up for Chattanooga now. They're starting to get, you know, some opportunities. Again. Nicola trying Good to defend day. against Rodriguez. Yes. Two youngsters going head to head. Robinson trying to bring this out, goes flying. Big tackle came in from yeah. Umeda. Oh. Starting to get a little physical in that middle of the park. Tends to happen, especially as players get tired. Yeah. That's one area where one would think Michigan Stars would have a little bit of an mm -hmm. edge. They've been off for a couple of weeks since the Gold Star match. Yeah, you'd hope I mean, early in the season. I know fitness is always a, an issue for teams, but it also helps when you've played so many games and you're you're getting your fitness level up as even a team that hasn't played as many so you'd be surprised early in the season it doesn't wear on you as much it's just at the end of the seasons where you're going to probably see him fall off a little bit if they don't manage your season well no robinson got booked in that rodriguez oh his shot's blocked corner yeah.
Prapolita will go up there again, and yep. I, I would bet that he'll be standing, yeah, with Lenny yep. Lopez right on the line. Yep. So look for something right inside the six. Goalkeeper, it's tough to see over two big guys like that. <laughs> Our post. It's rather deep. Stars trying to clear, foul yeah. goes the other way. They had two men back at the halfway line too, yep. Chattanooga. Worried about a rapid Michigan Stars counter. Yeah. Jacob Campbell says <laughs> that he's fine. <laughs> Referee says that the trainer has to come on, so he'll have to step uh, off until being allowed back on. Prosper Figby getting ready to come in for Michigan Stars. Like yeah, he could have a huge impact in this game, too. He's he's a key player. I remember, I mean, just watching him last couple of weeks, just seeing his impact. I'm curious to see what he can do to change the dynamic, maybe in the last 20 minutes of this game, 15 minutes. You know, the protocols we have now are, are much better than they used to. You, you just usually got up if you had anything, you know, dealing with an injury, and you just were told to play on. <laughs> we didn't really have any concern for being worried about any head injuries or any of that stuff. Sometimes frustration for players, though. Don't think it's needed. Yeah, nobody wants to be careful no. when there's three points on the line. Nicola for the run of oh, Hunter Olsen. Oh, it's a lovely back heel to find Nicola in the box. Great ball. Couldn't keep the ball with him, though. Uh, idea. Mm, Campbell, that's mm. straight to Antoine. Yeah. Yeah, 14 minutes yep. plus injury time to find a winner. Michigan Stars throwing. I think we'll see that change yep. now. Figby presumably for one of the midfield three. It Olsen. And it looks like Hunter Olsen. Olsen's played well. He's really had a... You know, I know obviously there's there's nothing on the score line, but he's made a tremendous impact for the Stars in the attack. And let's see if Figby can come in and maybe do something here in the last 15, but really impressed with Olsen. Well, Chattanooga's won it back here. Baranovsky's out of position. Figby can cover for him, though, as can Anthony Bowie. Bowie probably the advanced midfielder now with Figby on. Yep. Umida can fill that role too. McGrath, McGrath will have a go. Takes a big deflection, but McCruva gets in front of it. Figby got a touch on it to kind of slow that pace down to the McGrath ball. Yeah, Stars are definitely trying to see if they can get a get one here late, try to get, you know, a win out of this game. They've definitely gone forward. Well, a point against Chattanooga FC, never a bad thing. No. Two sides that could be and should be up there at the end of the season. Good I got win. caught standing on the ball, McGrath. Figby Ooh. plows through him. Well, he did get undercut, though, and it's a free kick for the Stars. Leon Marich making the case, hey, I wanted yeah. to keep that going. I'm surprised he, he didn't let that play on. That was a good opportunity, and Marich is probably right. That should have been just play on, but... Must have saw the official thought it was serious enough to just pull it back and give him a free kick. He's going to take the free kick. Is Tatenda McCruva going to come all the way up for oh this? Oh, boy. Yes, he will. McCruva oh. will have a shot. It's deflected <laughs> through the uprights. <laughs> hey, why not? In college, uh, we had uh, one of our guys, our goalkeeper, was so good, he could take the PK. He was so good. So, And you, coach never hesitated. So 
I wouldn't go that far at this level, but would have been great if Makruva could have hit one, though. Thinking from your University of Toledo teams, that would have been a Chiara Paradiso special. Absolutely. <laughs> Tuck one under the bar from oh, 45 man. yards. She could do it. She absolutely could do it back in the day. Out for a throw in. I haven't thought about those free kicks in a very long oh, time. Oh, yeah. It's, it's been a while. It's a 2017. <laughs> it's, it's back in the old Scott Park days. Yeah, yeah. Before University of Toledo soccer moved on to main campus. Yep, that's right. Perez for Lopez. Oh. Right back to Perez. Louise on the right side of the box. And forced away by Campbell. Can he create something anyway? One against two. Okay. Crowded out and cleared by the Stars. Louis gave that up. There's the cross. Baranowski heads clear. Dixon won yeah. that. Dixon goes down. Yeah, free kick. He can bring it back and give him the free kick here. Chattanooga's got a sub ready. This will be Luis Garcia Sosa on for Lionel Alvarenga. Hmm. Garcia Sosa, one of the players that dropped out from their last match. I think the Chattahooligans yeah. are getting annoyed that the board wasn't being put up <laughs> quickly enough. <laughs> They remind, you of the, they remind you of the blue crew from Absolutely. back at Toledo? Yeah, they have. <laughs> blue crew were great at Toledo. These guys definitely could have been in that category. I love Nobody. that the Chattahooligans are here, by the yeah, way. That's awesome. Absolutely. Not even the person putting the board up can get. They're giving him or her <laughs> a bad rap. <laughs> He's going to take it. Louis is there, yeah. and McGrath. Louis, Ooh. oh, between the crossbars, yeah. didn't dip quickly enough. No. Another good chance for Chattanooga again. Yeah, their best Less. opportunity so far. Let's see if Shalbad kind of settle in here and. Stars can kind of get something going. And Chattanooga has done last 10 minutes. They've really been effective. Campbell's ball headed clear. Oh, that got a foot in, but Chattanooga's throw. 83rd minute. Yeah. Hitting ball its way to Juan Louis. See it again, trying to direct ball over. Yep. Too Too much. Long. I don't look like we'll see any, we won't see Gray tonight. Thought he might come in maybe towards the end of maybe give him a spark, but looks like Lopez is their guy. Figby forced backwards. Ah, Rodriguez making a real nuisance of himself. Figby bowls him over. I don't think that's a battle <laughs> that he's going to win, Rodriguez. But you admire him not <laughs> shying away from it. No, absolutely not. I would have. Yeah. Bowie back to Baranovsky. Shelbon for Nicola. Oh. Back to Leon Marich. 
touch. And Merritt still dragging oh. this forward. Oh, he's clipped oh. on the edge of the box. That's a free kick right on the edge of the 18. Oh well, Chattanooga had one earlier. Yep. And Merritt did all that, created that all on himself, took the, beat the one player, got in, took a touch around him. Guy clipped him and got a great free kick opportunity. That's what great players do. I mean, Marich hasn't had a lot of opportunities, but once he got the ball um, a little bit deeper, tried to create something, and look what, where are we at. You know, we have this nice free kick opportunity. Some of the kids chanting, let's go, Stars. <laughs> This will be a Leon Marich free yeah. kick. Tough to get this one up and down yeah. quickly enough. Right on the edge of the line of the 18. And a wall of five. Bank of five in blue for Chattanooga. Baranovsky's there too. Marich yeah. over the top. That's yeah, tough. That's just a tough spot. I mean, you really have to hit that well to be able to get it up and dip it over that wall. And good effort, no doubt about it. It's just they are. That's just a very difficult uh, spot for. It looks close, obviously, but to be able to get that ball underneath is just tough. And Marich still dragging his foot. 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 And Marich stars. Might not be happy if they see that. Mo Allawine came on just now, by the way. Oh. They'll replace Kuchero Umeda. Louis was pulling back Jacob Campbell. Umida, I thought, put a good shift in, really mobile. Yeah. Long legs in midfield. One thing Mo Alawine won't give you is long legs. No. <laughs> All of five foot six. Good read, Baranovsky. Yeah. Oh, nice turn. The strength from Robinson. Oh, oh. oh, and the layoff from Marich. Yeah, it's a booking. Yeah, it's absolutely a booking. Only a yellow. Yeah. There was plenty of... They were, they, tactical it, foul. It was a, definitely a tactical foul, a smart foul. Because they definitely had a strong counter going. But, you know, there's enough people back. That's not a red. That He wasn't just 1v1 going to the goal by himself. So, but great foul. Campbell in the ear of Noah Robinson. The obvious target here would be Marich. Yeah. We've seen Anthony Bowie score from these in the past two. Line drive. Ooh. Didn't quite find Hogbin. No. Yellow card, by the way, was to Alex McGrath. Bowie cushioned down. Yeah. Shalbot forward. Marriage couldn't quite come Ooh. back for it. Alawine nipping at the heels of Richard Dixon. Dixon plays with so much poise and calm. I mean, even in that play, didn't two people were kind of around him, and he still was just very calm, got the throw in for his team. You can see why he's the captain. indispensable to the CFC team and organization. Yeah. And now 
last few minutes of the game. You just want to be smart. You don't want to give them any. Either team doesn't want to give the other team an opportunity to get a good goal scoring threat, especially on a free kick. That's where you got to be smart. <laughs> Did Nicola rope a dope Perez <laughs> into <looks> like that. <laughs> <laughs> poking that out of play? 17 year old, he's got that down already, so. Oh, Tom to cool his knee, play. I think. Yeah, yes. well spotted. Figby with a miss kick. Oh. And then Clip McGrath. That's a good foul. Bowers will go up. They'll still leave two back, yeah. Chattanooga. Sue and Dixon. They'll take their time, just use as much clock as they can, try to get it further down the line to the end of the game. See if they set something up. Prep Alito a little time to get up there. McGrath's ball. Figby climbs the ladder to head yeah. sideways. And they get one more chance in there. Three minutes of time added on. Perez oh. took a funny bounce. McCruva had to adjust to it. Good quick distribution yeah. to find Robinson. The Chattanooga had numbers back. Robinson carrying this an awfully long way. He goes over. Oh. Free kick right at the touchline. Great job by Robinson. Making that hard run up the field with the ball bringing two people out and creating a foul opportunity. Again, we talked about we you don't want to give up these opportunities late in the game for a free kick this deep. And that's what he's done here. So see if Stars can make something happen here in the last couple minutes. Robinson won the free kick. He will take the free kick. Six to aim at in the 18. They're just trying to find a way through. Can Robinson get this right? Back oh. post. Nothing given. Two Chattanooga players took each other out. There's the cross. Oh, maybe a chance at the back post. Bowie shot blocked. It spins backwards, oh, and corner. Louis couldn't clear it. Corner for the wow. Stars. Last gasp, even yep. to tend to McCruva is up at the halfway line. Robinson's delivery oh, again. Boy. Good hands Excellent. by Jean Antoine. You would expect nothing less from him. Yep. It's maybe the last opportunity of the match for either team to crack the scoreboard. Tigby's win in the air. Free kick to the Stars in the center circle. Yes, and uh, Makuva may be coming up for this one. Take a free kick. You're probably right. Yep, and there he is. Grab the ball, races <laughs> up to halfway. Is that Dixon who's down? Yeah. I think Figby came down on him. Doesn't feel great when that happens. Now McCruva's trying to yeah. get into all that. Not really necessary. No. And Prepolitsa is barking at him. <laughs> Tatenda McCruva's being <laughs> sent back to his goal. He's like, I'm here to take the free <laughs> kick. I'm not going anywhere. Right. 
Dixon's okay. Down in a lot of discomfort. The captain's going to have to go off for this. Tinder McCruva is going to get a yellow yeah. card now. And I wonder if he got that yellow card because he didn't go back when he was instructed to earlier yeah. by the referee, even though he's there to take the free kick. Right. I think he just kind of was in the play a little bit at the end there, just kind of a, when the guy was on the ground and just might have said something, and the official told him to get back, and he didn't really get back. So it's a yellow card. See if he can get a big one in here at the end. Last gasp for Michigan Stars. Groove's free kick, not really one no. in the air by anyone. Sue's clearance. Bowie heads down. Nicola back to cover. Return ball from McCruva. Hit a big one in. Oh. He'll hit it quickly. Changes the point of attack. Robinson. Oh. He cut it back. Into Bowie. Turning in the box. Bowie forced backwards. Campbell's delivery. Oh, Perez heads away, and that's it. Ah. And really on balance, nil-nil feels about right. Probably, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it was a great defensive battle, and uh, first half was... You know, very defensive. Second half, same thing. A few more opportunities in the second half, but both teams played great um, and felt well deserving of you know a, a you know clean sheet on both sides. So it's the first match in Nisa play this spring that Chattanooga has not won. So now on ten points from four matches. Michigan Stars, a win and two draws, not bad, especially with so much roster turnover from last year's championship team. Absolutely, you know, and it, winning that championship last year, you know, you have a target on your back from all these teams, and, you know, for them to be able to, you know, play a strong Chattanooga team and get a draw, that's excellent. That's what you want, especially early in the season. They're trying to build with this, a few new players are trying to get them in a rhythm, and I think this is a great, you know, springboard for them to keep doing that and moving forward in their season. Michigan Stars, they've got some time to continue to get healthy and rest up after tonight. Both teams took a battering from one another. They won't play again until Saturday, May 20th at the Maryland Soccer Plex. We'll take on Maryland Bobcats home on June 3rd against Savannah Clovers, one of the new teams in Nisa this year. Then five in a row on the road and back home again on July 14th. That's a long That's way from now long ways, yeah. against LA Force, who will travel a long way for that Nisa match. So for TJ Buchholz and all of our crew, Mason Lowry saying so long from Barnaba Field at Romeo High School. Game of the week between two semifinalists from last year ends. Michigan Stars nil, Chattanooga FC nil.